Capricorn. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of August of 2021 spiritual guidance reading. I've been guided to the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn for this reading and I'm going to lay a circle spread. But before I do so, I'm going to switch the camera from pointing towards me over here to my tripod so that you can see the cards in front of me as I lay them out in the reading in one moment. Okay, so here we are again, Capricorn. Again, this is the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn, and I'm going to lay a circle spread. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Capricorn I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Capricorn with clearly defined messages regarding the energy surrounding them during the second half of August of 2021. Well, this is beautiful. We have a Capricorn here who, uh, at during the middle of August of 2021, is feeling energies, great energies, of joy and delight. And we'll clarify that in a little bit. Now in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we've got uh, rejuvenating rain, right? Someone here who is now able to clear themselves from the past, to heal in the present, and to even open up your heart to joy once again. Because in the relationship sector, we have get the big picture, a view from above. I can now clear the past because I have a big picture of the situation. And it's this big picture in connection to another or others in the relationship sector of the circle spread that I'm getting um, a big picture view of. So in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, we have the journey by moonlight card. Spirit saying, believe in the magic that as you put time and effort into the manifestation of what brings you personal joy and delight. As you connect with others, so too will you start to get the big picture that what you are creating, putting a lot of time and effort into is manifesting this trust that something magical is taking place, has taken place, or will be taking place during the second half of August of 2021. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. So in your actions position, Spirit's saying get out and connect and celebrate with others. The passion and the pleasure of the magic you are recognizing. For you now see things from a bigger perspective and are able to clear the past and heal in the present. To enjoy your life and enjoy the energies of joy and delight here. So in the emotional aspects position, by the end of August of 2021, we have success expanding in your life. Thinking about how you have healed and let go and now as you open your heart to joy. Once again, the gates of triumph and success are overflowing in your heart chakra. So in the subconscious position we have begin now. Some This Capricorn knows exactly what they want to begin. Uh, they see things from a clearer perspective. Um, I'm feeling by mid-August for others it could take the whole second half or to the end of August of 2021. But Spirit's saying uh, open up your joy by your heart to joy by taking that first step towards connecting with another or others so that you can get the big picture, right? The results of what you've been working on in the creative aspects position because the success will expand as you enjoy this journey, as you get excited about a new beginning. Good things are happening here. So day to day, we have ascending the mountain. Day to day, it may feel like, okay, I've been putting a lot of time and effort into something that I truly enjoy doing. Um, and even though I see that there are some obstacles moving forward, I'm going to continue to savor my life. Uh, give thanks to spirit for the fact that I know uh, as I move forward, the gates of triumph are going to open in the area of success for me if they haven't already. 
So in the inner strength position, spirit is nudging this Capricorn to travel lightly, to go forward beyond the obstacles and to continue to start something new here. Jump on this path. Pretty direct message. So in a three card summary to my left for further clarification, we've got the first couple cards here in the uh, first position of the three card spread uh, representing the energy surrounding this Capricorn around mid-August of 2021. So spirit is saying open, uh, open to your spiritual source, right? What is it that brings you peace and contentment? For some of you, a call may come and spirit saying, answer the call. The time is now to do what? To begin to take your first step. Joy and delight uh, is what is ahead. And you will eventually, through a connection to another or others here, start to see the big picture. So as you are working on something here in this journey by moonlight, believe in the magic of what you're creating for a call is going to come. There's going to be a realization as you step into the direction of unknown territory that you are exactly where you were meant to be. For some, you're stepping into a greater position of power and authority in your life. Spirit's saying as you break trail, right, you may come into some form of obstacles or challenges day to day, but tread thoughtfully, continue to focus and believe in the magic that there are going to be re reasons to savor your life here. Ground yourself as infinite abundance starts to manifest. By the end of August of 2021, yeah, we have someone here who is stepping into a leadership position. Um, and the realization that there has been a divine plan all along. That as long as you move forward with joy in your heart and heal from whatever transpired in the past, that th this was a divine plan. And now you can just enjoy the beginning of what this is. There's support all around you as you begin a new cycle. All right, so let's try to pinpoint and clarify these messages. And to do so, I'm bringing in the Gypsy Oracle deck. So, dear Lord, spirit, guides, and angels, please provide further confirmation, clarification, and or spiritual advice regarding the circle spread we have previously discussed and the energy surrounding this Capricorn during the second half of August of 2021. Yep, we have a Capricorn that has gone through some form of spiritual transformation here, uh, who is no longer a caterpillar being stepped on on the ground, but who has gone through a transformation and can now spread your wings and fly. Open your heart to the delight of a new beginning, for there will be com communication coming that will give you the big picture. Some are thinking about a situation regarding the home, making changes to the home within the home, moving home, thinking about um, cleansing the home. Um, yeah, so as you are manifesting something here, as you're going through a very spiritual transformation, I have heard from many that as you clean up uh, old things that no longer serve you in your home, you may come across uh, things that were a lesson a long time ago. And it's like you're going to kind of see things from hindsight, and then you're going to throw those things away, realizing that you are um, healed that those things are completely gone. It's almost like signs of this is exactly what's dissipating in your life. So we have view from above, okay? Someone here who has falseness in the relationship sector to another or others. Uh, there's maybe hope here that someone else has gone through some form of spiritual transformation uh, whereby maybe there was a discussion about uh, a change in the area of home and family. Either way, Spirit's offering up the scholar energies, again, in the creative aspects position, saying continue to research what it is you're going to be starting here or that you have started. Continue to believe in the magic of what you are creating. Even if day to day you run into little obstacles and challenges, keep going forward. 
for some of you yes you may be researching a connection whereby someone is walking in energies of falseness you're going to be transforming right you're going to learn and grow from this connection and then uh, you're going to realize that someone was walking in their ego now because you have the peacock card in the actions position of the circle spread spirits advice is to let your light shine right open your heart to the joy of new beginnings maybe creating something from within your home researching learning for by the end of august of 2021 look at this we've got joyfulness and the gates of triumph success expanding in your life a beautiful new beginning doing work maybe from home within the home researching but trusting in the magic of what you are trying to succeed in okay this there's definitely unhealthy energy here someone's walking in their ego of and, and, and energies of falseness and spirit saying get the big picture and kind of let them go because they're blocking your ability to step through the gates of triumph over here so in the subconscious position uh, some are thinking about coming into commitment partnership or contract with another but again we have someone here who has grown they have cleared the past and they have healed or are healing in the present from anyone who's carrying energies of falseness instead um, you're taking your first step to manifest um, this success over here someone may be wanting to create a successful connection with someone in hopes that they have changed in the area of falseness but spirit saying um, yeah someone's walking in their ego okay and this is how you will know if this is a, a love situation for a single capricorn if you are finding yourself with the room energy day to day and that's what these obstacles and challenges are about the room represents someone who's realizing i'm spending more time alone than i am with this other person and so i am changing i'm finding joy in my life and are able to move forward and let my light shine and begin something that represents my own personal success here and if someone doesn't respond to me i will be able to start to get the big picture that they're carrying energies of falseness it doesn't mean they're bad it just means they're making uh, poor decisions for some reason yeah look at this so in the inner strengths position spirit is saying travel lightly into new directions beyond these obstacles and challenges towards a new beginning in your life for what you create now if you believe in the magic of success uh, you will be able to celebrate as the gates of triumph open we do have the soldier showing up here and in this case the soldier is someone who's cold someone who's closed off someone who's a leap love them and leave them energy again if you're spending more time by yourself than you are with this person um, they're walking in their falseness and their ego uh, let go of that so that you can step through these gates of triumph for love will be on the other side in a new form right in a new person fellow travelers are who you'll be connecting with but probably not until the second half of september yeah so we have the enemy uh, hope that someone will help you to heal someone who's stealing your peace of mind and a desire to take a pleasure seeker right someone who's out to have a good time and make them into your wife your husband your partner but there's eventually a realization here with the folk card and the misfortune card that i have brought this misfortune upon myself i was passionate and excited and instead ended up stuck or trapped in this prison energy so i'm going to connect with new friends new people places and circumstances until i connect with someone who offers energies of faithfulness and not falseness passionate lover energy a little bit of sorrow but an offer in the area of abundance which causes an ending to one person place circumstance situation and a connection to someone new and i am getting the lovers card here on the bottom of the deck so something good is on the other side if you let go of whoever is carrying energies of falseness here all right so i'm going to close by bringing in the guardian angel deck by doreen virtue okay i had a couple cards jump already this one first 
All right, five of, five of Abundance says there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Amen. Challenges and sitting alone. Accept the help of those around you, right? Family and friends, faithful people who bring energies of joyfulness. That's where your success will expand in your journey. The situation you're experiencing, Capricorn, is only temporary. Be patient. Then we have the healer of emotion. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to take care of yourself. Flashes of intuition will provide you with incredible insights, right? Getting the big picture about whoever is carrying energies of falseness. For then you have healing. The healer of action card says this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to, right? Joy and delight. Opening your heart to what fulfills you expands success in your life. Opens the gates of triumph. Transformation within you leads to faith, uh, joyfulness. Yeah, eventually it says this card indicates someone who's intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you, right? Feeling energies of joyfulness. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. So if you are connecting with someone new, uh, it may be more like the sixth week from now. Capricorn, if you are single. Yeah, indecision. Is this a wish come true? Some of you may be connecting with someone else who has earth in their chart virgo taurus or capricorn like you you may be able to make a wish come true but this person is awful smug you get what you want but you become indecisive remember the prison energy for some of you may be dealing with someone who has air in his chart libra aquarius or gemini whereby there is more than one person but as you become clear with others, with the King of Swords energies about your boundaries, your goals, your intentions, I do see celebration when it comes to an idea, project, financial direction, or two. And Spirit's saying, say yes, celebrate, check that out. We've got someone in a leadership position, be it you or someone else, and you with the Nine of Pentacles energies. Great financial independence, a reason to celebrate your own personal journey. The strength to not say yes to someone who is carrying energies of falseness, but to overstep them and connect with new fellow travelers, co-workers that you'll feel very supported by. Wow, okay. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so very much to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed, to those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, and to those of you who follow up those personal readings with an email letting me know exactly how these messages help to guide you into that path, that higher path of peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.